Welcome. In this video, I'll give you an introduction about computational thinking and coding course that we are introducing to all our students from all specialization at the higher colleges of technology. We will start by talking about the course learning outcome. There are five learning outcomes in this course. The first learning outcome focuses on introducing you to the structure of computer programs. As you know, when you write a computer program or anything in, in life nowadays, uh, you have to structure it uh, the right way. So there are components that you should have. There's a sequence that you need to follow and there is integration with other codes that you have in your program. So we'll introduce you to the structure of computer programs and the related components of that. The next one, in programming or in computational, you work with data types. There are data types in our life that we deal with and we use uh, most of our uh, day uh, process, including numbers, uh, text, objects like images and files and other things. These data types we will explore in terms of how we create them, how we use them, how we convert them from one format to other format, and how much memory they occupy and things like, like that, which is very essential and fundamental of programming. Next, now we have an idea of data types, we know the structures, we need to start writing solutions, algorithm. An algorithm sounds to the people as complicated thing. Uh, it's not that complicated. Algorithm is basically a description of a solution in human language. So how you make a cup of tea? There are certain sequence you need to follow. There are some components you have to have. And if you write it down, that's an algorithm. And you can generalize this one in that case and make it specific to certain solutions if you would like to do. So, for example, finding student uh, GPA calculation is an algorithm. It's a mathematical process that you go step by step and you do that. So, algorithm is basically in human language uh, is a description of, of that problem. And then you can convert it later to a computer program. So, we'll convert it to Python. And we're using Python for a number of reasons. One of it is uh, readability. Um, uh, language uh, Python is a strong language that has so many libraries and packages already in place that can help us produce solutions faster and more uh, uh, effective. Now we have those three components. We know the structure, we know the data, and we know how to write an algorithm in human language and then convert it to computer uh, language. We need now to start applying those principles to solving real life problems. And one of the important things nowadays is data analytics. When you are uh, employed after you graduate, you will find yourself dealing with data. Maybe data related to the sales of your product, maybe related to the performance of your organization or department. This data you need to start working with and making it uh, meaningful. So we'll be using uh, a package in Python called Pandas to create a simple, effective introduction to uh, data analytics. So we'll read data from different sources, we'll summarize them, we will group them, we'll do something uh, to make them meaningful to, to your uh, company or to your uh, uh, organization. Once we have those data and summarize and became really more clean, more uh, understandable, and we can now visualize it. And the next step, we'll be using some tools to visualize it, drawing so many different types of charts, which we'll come back to and talk about it uh, later. So these are the five things. You learn structure of program, you learn the data types, you learn the algorithm creation, and then you put those skills together to solve a simple data uh, analysis or analytics uh, problem. 
So there are three units in, in this book and in also into the course that we are uh, uh, working on. The first one is again the fundamentals, which we already discussed. We will be using a package called Turtle. Turtle is a visual, graphical a way of learning programming. So you will be drawing different shapes and different things, like you draw a house, you draw a car, you do uh, some nice art. And through that drawing, you learn the fundamentals of programming, which we talk about in the structure, the data types, and other things. And these are the things which, in, in more details. First, you will know what is computational thinking, how you use it to solve a problem, which a process that you need to go through, and you will uh, find it interesting. And you can apply it not only to programming, you can apply it to day-to-day uh, -day, uh, problems. The next thing, the structure of the program, we spoke about it already. The data type, we spoke about it. And there are now three more important uh, components in any computer program. The first one is the sequence. When, when you do anything in your life, uh, most of the time the sequence is important to you. Take an example, you want to enter your house. You cannot go inside the house unless you open the door or the window or whatever. You find a way to open uh, uh, for you to get into the house. So the sequence is important. The next one comes the iterations. In life, we need to repeat certain processes multiple of times until a condition is met. So you will know some technique of looping, going through a loop for a certain time based on, on the condition. Then you will learn selection. And the selection is the logic in programming. So it's all conditions. If something is met, you do something. If not met, you do something else. Or you ask for another condition. And these selections will be, will be dealing with and uh, you will use it uh, uh, to solve a number of uh, While we're doing the programming, we will be using Turtle. So Turtle, as I said, visual. And you will draw something like this, you'll draw a house, you'll draw a car, you'll draw other things. Now we move into data uh, analytics. So we'll be reading data or accessing data from different sources. You know, in your life you have data maybe in a text file or an Excel file or a common separated file or a website or a database. So how you can connect all these data together and reading, which again, with one line of code in, in Pandas, Python, you will be able to do that. The next thing is cleaning your data. You get your raw data, there are empty data, missing data, there's some extra information that doesn't make any sense, is not useful for the data, how you clean it. And there's a process to do that, we will do cleaning uh, uh, our data. And we'll also, Related to data, always important how you search data, how you filter data. So you have student with um, uh, special um, uh, needs or uh, determined student, and you would like to look at their performance and what support they need to have in, in a record, or you're looking at cells from one continent or one city or one uh, emirate and you need to filter it. How is this the technique you're going to use to filter uh, your data? Grouping data and again indexing data to, to improve uh, searching and, and finding your data. Joining multiple different data together and writing data back to files. So after you work with your data and you summarize it, you, you make it uh, more meaningful you need to create now a new data that maybe you send to someone or upload it to a website or make it available for others to access. So how you write it back to files. So from reading to writing. Then we have now our data clean, organized, how we can visualize it to help uh, our managers, uh, senior people and decision making people are um, um, they, they understand the data better and they can use that data to make uh, some of the decisions 
So we will be using a lab recall uh, matplotlib, which allows us to draw so many different charts. Again, in a more simple way, but you need to understand why you need this chart or you need that chart and the differences between, between the charts. So those charts will be used the line plot, which symbol line plot chart. And then we'll use histogram, we'll use a bar chart, we will use pie chart and scatter uh, plot and we'll use box um, which you use for uh, uh, finding uh, outliers so we'll use all those different data and we'll understand how to use it when to use it and how to create it based on the data which we already cleaned which we have in, in place so in summary there are three units in the in the course first one is fundamental programming then the other one data analytics and then visualization I hope you will find this course interesting and you will enjoy it. What are the tools that we're going to use? Do I need to install anything on my computer to be able to, to program in Python and those packages we mentioned in the course? Uh, the simple answer, no, you don't need. So we'll be using cloud solutions. So one of the solution we'll use is Rebel. Rebel will use it for unit one. I'm part of unit two, Ripple is the visual part where you use turtle and graphics and become very easy for you to understand the, the concept of, of programming. So it will be for the unit one fundamental of programming and we can use it also for unit uh, two. But the best option for unit two is from Microsoft is uh, Azure Notebook, which are specific and industry standards for data. Uh, uh, analysis uh, in Python, so we'll use uh, Azure uh, Notebook. Uh, the link to those uh, tools will be on the BibliLearn site and also will be in the book, will be everywhere and uh, you will have access direct to it. The beauty of those three tools, you program from the browser, you don't need to install anything and it runs on almost any device you you have and you'll be able to do programming anytime you would like to do to uh, do so uh, thank you i hope you find this introduction useful and uh, looking forward to see you in class thank you